Oh god, it's the Ubisoft launcher. What do we got? We got Champions Tactics Grimoria Chronicles. This is a NFT game that Ubisoft just released. Warning, please read before playing. Consult your doctor, avoid playing, keep your eyes as far away as possible from the screen. Use earphones or hearing loss may occur? What is this? I can't wait to buy one of those old token guys on the blockchain. Finally a blockchain game. Good job, Ubisoft. At long last, they cracked the hottest trend of four years ago. Welcome to Tartarus. In this establishment, you'll be able to battle against the best minds of Grimoria. Let me guide you through the first steps before challenging the other lords and legends. Champions are at the core of the game, and they are defined by five types of genes. That's just a hero forge. Faction, which determines the race and head of the champion. Quirk which can add a headgear to the champion. Job, which determines the class and outfit of the champion. Weapon, which determines what is the wielded weapon. Element, which determines the champion's base and type. Each champion has eight statistics. Vitality to determine the health. Initiative is your initiative. Magic power, physical power, magic resistance, and physical resistance are self-explanatory. And crit chance and crit multiplier, okay? As part of your arrival, let me give you three ethereal champions to get you started. Oh, he's going to give me three free NFTs? Oh, look at that. They are just hero forges. Those are just hero forge guys. With the first ethereal champions acquired, I'll teach you the key mechanics of the game. Let's learn the key mechanics. A strategic... Oh, the font change. A strategic selection of champions is the first step towards securing a win, no period. Each turn, select a champion and place it on the board. The role of a champion determines its main purpose. For standard and strong composition, champions with protection role are often better in the front line. Champions with the damage role are safe in the middle, and the support role is often better in the back line. Is there ever any instance where you don't want to have that exact lineup? You can gain more information by right-clicking. I'm going to assume this guy is the protector guy, so we'll put him down first, because he's got armor. I have armor. Uh, ready? Human body is so weak. That's why we mastered the art of war. Not even a voice line. I always put down our, uh, our damage in the middle here. What will the damage say? I'm faster than the wind. Now we gotta deploy our uh, fire support druid. Nature must be protected from your technology. You can't undo progress. We will win. This is a great, great raid shadow legends that Ubisoft made. Each round begins with an initiative phase. A champion's initiative score determines their position in the order of the play round. Initiative score equals initiative stat plus rolled dice. Speed skill can change the initiative of a champion. The targeting and effects of a skill are detailed when hovering the skill. Skills can have effects such as doing damage, healing, buff, and debuff. Each round's like the skill for each champion, okay? Let's see, we gotta give the Exalted Disciplined Nobleman. That's an NFT name right there. That's his generated name. They, they, they just don't even give him a name. The characters don't have names, they're just auto-generated strings of words. This sucks. Maybe the gameplay is fun, we'll see. Uh, King's Mandate, why is the M not capitalized? Balance defensive strike. Okay, none of the second words in the abilities are capitalized. That sucks. That should probably be capitalized. Let's try charge slash. Oh, he changes pose. Look at that, like in Hero Forge. <laughs> you can do that in Hero Forge. Yeah, let's try to pound his frontline guy. This will affect my... It affects my frontline, I think. That heals all my allies. Can I attack his front line? Okay, yeah, let's attack his front line. Let's do it. Perhaps cryptocurrency is the true darkest dungeon of them all. Whoa, look at that. It got widescreen bars and film grain. Holy crap. That was so awesome. I just want to see the shop. Where's the store? I want to see the store. Where's that part? Do you have to watch these animations every time? At least Raid Shadow Legends lets you skip the animation. Raid Shadow Legends is a nothing game, but at least you don't have to, like, watch a bunch of guys swing swords slowly. 
not even swing sword, just transition to different poses. This guy sucks. Paladin. Does it have an autoplay feature? We can only hope. All the best games have autoplay features. Is there really not a way to skip that? There has to be. There's definitely a way to skip the animations, right? Game, game speed, max it out. One million percent, please. Does anybody ever want it to not be at one million percent? All right, here we go, round two. Their front line is almost dead. Champions use their physical power for physical attacks and magic for their magic. Uh-huh. Champions can mitigate with percentage and stacks. Who's going first this round? He's going first this round. So it's him, then him. So we'll make him go for the front line. Hopefully he can kill the front line immediately. Looks like the front nine will still live. So then he goes next. So he can also hit the front line if he has an attack for that. I don't think he does. We'll just make him heal the front line and then our front liner will go last. Does he have a front line attack? He does, okay, so their front line should die. All right, here we go. Green, move. Burning cure. Could they have made this feel any more lifeless if they tried? I can't believe they don't like have idle animations. I can't believe these guys don't like dance around a little bit. They don't have like a holding weapon idle where they like twirl their sword. Maybe the rare NFTs have idle animations. Maybe the rarest one does. Get him. Yeah, resist that. All right, hit him, frontline guy. It's your time to charge. Oh, he fell apart. Look at that. He got disintegrated. Wow, it's so cool. Burning cry. I'm going to cry when that hits me. That's a lot of damage. 21 damage from burning cry. Dude, this NFT is a strong NFT. They got 80 health as well. All their guys got 80 health. They're cheating. Each element in a category is strong or weak. That's Raid. There we go. There's some Raid Shadow Legends. I mean, this is a lot of games, but Raid Shadow Legends also has like the three elements. It's great. A weak element grants you 60% resistance. Okay. Detailed element interactions are on the element table. What is your element? He's a fire guy. I have air. Is air strong against fire? Where did they say the element table was? This is order? Is order an element? I don't know if that's an element. I guess it's holiness. This guy is light. Let's see, what kills fire? Oh, it's a, what? It's an alignment chart. Chaos, technology, and order. Light, darkness, and air. Why air? Why? What's air doing in there? Come on. Come on, what is air doing with light and darkness? That's not right. Light and darkness, what, what what counters light and darkness? Light counter, air counters light. Light counters darkness and darkness counters air. I feel like lightness and darkness just balance each other out. Aren't they like always balanced? <laughs> oh no, light cancels out darkness. In this universe, the good guys always win because the, the bad guys just keep getting canceled out. All right, we got to kill this guy in the middle. He's too strong. Let's try to... Hit him with that one. He does have a lot of fizz resist, though, so maybe we'll try. I mean, they're all fizz resist. I think all his attacks are physical. 18, you can do... Elemental backline. I just do that. And you can slash. Sure. In a different timeline, I'd be taking my child out to a whimsical night of Halloween trick-or-treating instead of watching a man play an NFT game online. This is the most horrifying thing you can do on Halloween. This is the scariest game. What's scarier than a Ubisoft <laughs> NFT slop game? Just give me the store. All I want to see is the shop so I can make fun of the shop. That's where the fun is going to be. The game is not fun. 
I mean, it functions fine. It's like a fine turn-based battle thing, but in terms of new things to the table, I think this one scores in the negatives. Yeah, I get cleft. All right, he's down. Now we gotta kill that backline guy. I bet that backline guy does not have high fizz resist. Although my guy died too, that's bad. That's not good. All right, cut him down. Each champion has a faction linked reactive effect that can be triggered during the game. When conditions are met, the champion reacts before the next skills. Hover on a champion to reveal his reaction effect. When killing an opponent, he gets precision. When hit by an opponent on elemental resist, he triggers burning cure. Okay. Which one does the most damage? I guess that one. Attack. You're going down. Does this game have lore? What's the lore of this world? What's the lore of a bunch of Hero Forge miniatures have to shoot particle effects at each other? What's the good storyline? I hope it has a dynamic and ever-evolving narrative that the player base can influence. We just need community feedback. Just join our Discord and give us some community feedback. Ubisoft needs some community feedback, dude. That's all I need. You gotta give him a chance. Alright, let's hit him again. Damage. Damage. I better win. I just purchased around $130 of full-size candy bars. Oh, you're the good house. You're the good house on Halloween. You should give out Ubisoft NFTs instead. That's probably a better idea. Swift cry. Technology will never win, or whatever that battle cry was. We did it. Good job, team. You have a keen eye for combat. I have no doubt you'll find challenge with the other lords. A fine challenge. Congratulations on completing your first match. Let me give you additional champions to sharpen your strategic mind. Choose a set of champions that matches your play style. Aggressive, versatile, control. I'm aggressive. Well, hang on. What do I get? I get this crappy guy. I get this devil. And I get that guy. What does versatile give me? I kind of like that shoulder guy. He's got that halo reach shoulder. That is a good shoulder. What about control? Okay, control all sucks. So it's versatile versus aggressive. Don't the devil guy or the shoulder guy? It's a big choice. I'm going to go devil guy because he's the devil. He's probably pretty strong. Here we go. Check your collection to discover your champion's abilities. Oh, I got a place in season one. Okay. The collection displays all information about each champion, including their role, mastery, level, stat, skills, and reactive effects. Some champions are ethereal and can only be used a limited number of times. <laughs> really? Really? You're doing, like, weapon rental from, like, combat arms? Are you serious? The genes tab is the genes of a champion. That's the seed that was used to generate them in the random number generator. This is my blazing corner. Can you name them? Can you name your guy? I want to name my guy. This is Aerial Executioner, my new favorite champion. Rivet City Raiders, thank you for subscribing. What's up, Boo Boo Nation? About to spend your subscription on a Ubisoft NFT. That's what I'm about to do. Where's the store? Give me the shop. Give me the shop. VIP Marketplace. There it is. Why can't I go? You can play in different game modes. Oh, I can. Wow. Are you not allowed to go to the Marketplace? until you complete your ranked matches so streamers can't just download this and make fun of it and then bounce come on i always play a ranked match will there be any players in this game at all hopefully not oh there's zero tokens prize match tokens refill in nine hours so i can't play one then let's play a casual game or let's go to a quest the quest menu offers quests. Really? That is crazy. Congratulations, you completed the introduction. Start a training quest to deepen your understanding or launch an online match or go to the marketplace or forge. There it is, marketplace time. 
It opened in my browser. Oh my God. You can buy the Tempest Zealot. He's $3,000 for the Tempest Zealot. Here's 4,500 for the Thorn to Keeper. Only 750 for the Methodic Abbot. That's not bad. That's a pretty good deal. 750 for a Balanced Mage. Again, that's, that's a reasonable, reasonable price. Only five bucks for the Gloomy Lifebringer. Wow, that's a cheap guy. Why does the Gloomy Lifebringer suck? And the Methodic Conqueror is $54. This one's 45. So am I just gonna check the stats on this one and it's just gonna be stronger? Is that what's gonna happen here? He has an owner. It looks like somebody already owns him. His price is 3,000. Oh, someone is probably selling him for 3,000. Somebody listed him on the marketplace for $3,000. That doesn't mean anybody's gonna buy it, but it was listed on the market, okay. That's not the Ubisoft set price, I think. That's the free market economy. He has 72 health. He has 19 physical. He just seems like a normal guy. It just seems like a standard dude that he's charging $1,000 for. So if you're looking to launder some money, this could be a really good way. The ingenious brute costs $17,000. This is great. Exalted Discipline, Discipline, Equalized Defender. Where's more? How many are for sale? Are there infinite? It should be, because it's like an NFT. It can generate them forever. Can I sell my guys? Can I sell my beginner kit? How do I sell my beginner kit? Is that Forge? Please sign in. Why is it in a browser? Why is this not in the game? Why is all the like account management stuff in a browser window and not in the actual game? All right, we're going lore. What is the lore of champions? The mint timeline. What? Champions are magical, playable, playable figures in the dark worlds of Grimoria. Each one is a living relic, an intricately crafted embodiment of Grimoria's history, a.k.a. ChatGPT made it a testament to the legendary champions who once shaped its fate. Champions have been minted. Reveal. That's not lore. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, if you signed up for the Kickstarter, you could get the early Warlord Mint. Okay, so it's like if you signed up early, you get the rarest token. And then you can sell it. So are all, all the champions are minted. There are no more champions, it looks like. So if you want to play this game, and <laughs> trust me, you don't. But if you want to play this game, you have to go to the marketplace and buy those guys NFTs because they were here first. They were here first on this great game. What's the storyline of Grimoria? Welcome to Grimoria. Step into Grimoria. A realm where stories unravel in seven grand factions, each represented by legendary warlords. Jinns, humans, demons, transhumans, ghouls, and undeads paint the tapestry of this world. This sounds AI-generated as well. Is there anything not written by ChatGPT in this whole software? With power struggles resulting in the birth of the Kingdom of Toriel, the Empire of Brawlmaron, and the mysterious Cult of Eternity. Mmm, they're mysterious, dude. I want to join the Empire of Brawlmaron. That sounds good. A game-changing discovery, Thunderstone, ignites a technological revolution but also leads to corruption and a clash of ideals the world's history keeps evolving, shaped by these tales and confrontations. Grimoria is a canvas where legends are written and destiny awaits. The private game club. Imagine a game woven with ancient magic and timeless legends shaping the destinies of those who dare to play. Such a game is played in the private game club, a secret establishment where inner circle of warlords and chosen ones converge to craft alliances, shape the fate of empires, and dictate the course of eternity. So the lore is that this big world exists, but you're playing Hearthstone? I think the lore is that you're just playing Hearthstone. In the mystical realm of Grimoria, seven factions rise to prominence, each a testament to its own set of values, beliefs, and motivations. These factions shape the very essence of this world. Oh, do they shape the essence? That's crazy. They shape the essence of the world. That's insane. Join the Discord. <laughs> Give us some feedback. Lady Mirabelle, Master Vrizo, Prince Ezrin, Matriarch Sophia, General Theodore, Leader, his name is Leader, Leader K. Lord Cormont. I wonder when Lord Cormont, dude. I hope Lord Cormont is part of the balls, uh, the balls territory, whatever it's called. Do I have any rewards? Oh, I have combat spoils. Look at that. I have a profile picture and an emote. All right. All right. Emote 10. Profile picture 1. My collection grows. All right, let's play a match. Let's find a poor soul. Will there be a single other human playing this is the question. 
Can we find anybody at all? Oh, I did. I found Fee Kurz. Wow. All right, let's use my new characters. That's my new character. Waiting for opponent. It's a tough choice. Oh, he has the default guy? Technology is a threat that must be stopped. This guy has a default guy. I got Satan. I'm deploying Satan. My Satan is going to totally kill his default guy. Oh, he has Satan too. You will not escape my deadly blade. I'll reveal your schemes to the court, traitor. All right, who's better support? I mean, I'm just going to use the new guy. It's the FNG, sir. Fee Kurs is 100% not a real person. I mean, it's taken them a while to place their thing down. If it was a bot, you would hope that would happen instantly. But maybe it's like delayed to make you think it's a real guy. To make you think it's a vibrant and thriving marketplace. Oh, they emoted. How do I emote? Sorry. <laughs> That's my great emote. Threaten. You're doomed. All right, let's go with uh, a little bit of an attack. My plan is to just DPS his frontline guys to death. I did choose the aggressive characters. It might be a human because it's taken forever. It took them a while to make their move up. Either that or they program their fake players to be inefficient. Oh no, I hope he has his game speed on fast too. If he has his game speed on really slow, that means we have to watch all the animations really slowly. Is there an in-game chat? Yeah, there's this. You can you can say, well played, like Hearthstone. See? Well played. That was a good move. Ignition. I think this is playing at, like, slower speed than I had it set to. I think it's playing at the default speed. I have it set to the max. It's just incredibly slow. Do these, like, say what they do if you toggle over them? Okay, they do. I wonder if this guy had a tactic. It seems like he buffed the crap out of his middle guy. His middle guy is super strong. That's bad news for me. Oh, critical hit. There you go. There you go. I might pop a heal with my support guy. Oh, he swapped my support guy to the front. Look at that. He rearranged me. Uh-oh. Now my support's in the front line. He's vulnerable. Crit chance plus 100, that's just a buff. Kill their front guy. Do you have a heal? He has no heal. All right, uh... Kill their front guy. I get to go first after this guy, so I'm going to make two frontline attacks, and then this guy can, uh... He can do whatever, I don't care. Side left, thank you for gifting us up to the Gary108. Gary, welcome to the Oboe Nation, where we play good games like this. I wonder if there's people streaming. You're playing another streamer? Am I? It's possible. Was this game called Champions of the Grim War or something like that? I can search on Twitch and see if anybody else is playing. Oh, I'm not logged into Twitch on my phone? Oh my god. Can I use Twitch without the app, or does it only want me to use the app? No, but it just opens a browser. All right, somebody check if someone else is streaming. Somebody go into the category of Champions of Grimoire, or whatever this is called, and see if anybody else is doing it. It's called Champions Tactics, I think. It's very likely that Fee Curs is a fellow streamer playing this. <laughs> Fine, I will. Hey, it's more fun than watching this. Going on a fun hunt through Twitch is more fun than playing this. <laughs> you know there's no one, man. There might be. There might be a kindred spirit. Okay, so his plan was to buff the crap out of his guy, and my plan was to kill them. So while he was stacking buffs, I killed them. That's my genius tactic that they'll never expect, is that I'm going to hit him with my sword. Yeah, hit him. 
if they win, I'm subbing to them instead. Okay. We got a subscription on the line. Losing to an easy mode bot will be a highlight. I lost to the Fortnite bots. Whenever I download Fortnite, I always lose to the bot lobby. I've never won against those uh, noob bots. Nobody is live for this game. That's sad. Hopefully the people that got in early on the minting of the NFTs don't feel scammed and ripped off. They probably do. Maybe they're big believers. Maybe they believe this game will take off. Maybe they're in the Discord dropping community feedback. Did you check Steam activity chart? No, it's on Ubisoft. It's on the Ubisoft launcher. Where everything is opaque. And you can't tell what's going on. Oh, he got a 35 initiative? Oh, that was an attack roll. Okay. That was just his attack. And he got a bloodlust reaction. Whoever gets higher initiative wins. Wait, why does he get... He gets to keep attacking after he killed my guy? That sucks. That's his bloodlust initiative. All right, whoever gets higher initiative roll wins this match because whoever swings first is going to win. We tied. What does that mean? What is that going to do? I can't kill him because he has fizz resist. Come on, just choose. There's, there's not a cool play to be done here. Mr. Fee Kurs. All you can do is swing. Just pick one of your three swings and swing. We have the same guy. Are those Hero Forge models? I don't think so, but they're clearly inspired by Hero Forge. They might as well be Hero Forge models. They're just a rip off of Hero Forge. It looks way worse than Hero Forge. Yeah. All right, now whoever <laughs> wins initiative again has a chance to win big. Oh no, I lose. I will use my Skull Bash if I survive. Charging Slash. No. Oh, he beat me. This is bad for my rank placement, dude. I'm going to be stuck in bronze forever in champion tactics. Can you chat after the game? No, you can't. Oh, he that was his first match, too, because he's Mastery 1. Just kidding. He's not a real person. Club's opening. You are welcomed by the manager to battle the legends of this place. Will you accept the pool of fate and rise to the top? Ubisoft challenge complete. Oh boy. New estimated rank, bronze three. Climb the ranks for more rewards. Gold? What do you spend gold on? What is gold spent on? Because the people cost money. They cost money in the market. Maybe I gotta go look at that stupid forge thing. I gotta go log in on the browser. Ugh. Bad news, everybody. To use the forge a hero option, you have to connect a crypto wallet. And seeing as I don't have one of those, I guess we're not gonna forge any heroes in Champions Tactics Grimoire Chronicles. A uh, good game, Ubisoft. This is the worst thing I've ever seen. So good job.